Welcome back, everyone, to Halloween Haunts 365.com, the podcast. I'm Jared. Hi, I'm Terry. Last night we had a banger. Yes, it was so much fun. It was. It was a great time. It's one of, it will always be one of my favorite all time haunted attractions. I will always have a symbiotic relationship with this place. Um, it was my first major haunted attraction when all this stuff started that I went to. And, um, I remember like it was yesterday. My kid was just born. He was maybe, I don't know, six months old. And then I was watching the Travel Channel while working two jobs. And then I saw Night of Terror pop up on one of the, you know, scariest guides or whatever. And I'm like, damn, that's really freaking cool. And then I saw Melica Hill, New Jersey point. I'm like, oh shit. I was in Vineland at the time. Like, I could go to this one. Hmm. So I called my ex's mom. And I was like, listen, you got to take the baby Friday. We're going. And then uh, even before that, I've been nonstop, but that was kind of my first one. So 13 years ago, I finally went into Night of Terror. But I've done so many more before that, like the little ones on the boardwalks mm-hmm. and stuff like that. It all started with the dark rides. But enough about us. We're going to play the video for our merch store. If you see something, buy something. Usually if you see something, say something. But in this case, if you see something, buy something. This will all be changed. So make sure you get it now. Terry was rocking those leggings last night. Yes, they are comfy. Mm-hmm, they're nice. All right, also, we got to talk about this. The fan voted haunted attraction is up. Halloween Haunts.com. Wow. Halloween Haunts365.com. Vote for your favorite haunt. I'm not taking any info. I don't care how many times you vote. Here it is. All right, so there we go. Vote now. Voting will end in November. I don't know if I'm doing the 5th or the 12th yet. We'll figure that out. I got to look at all the schedules and see what all the haunts clues. We will. But uh, moving on, this will be our 2022 review of Night of Terror at Creamy Acres Farm, Mullica Hill, New Jersey. Yeah. I had a good time. I did. It was a lot of fun. I had a good time. First off, we're going to do the walkthrough. Check out the Midway area of Night of Terror.
All right, that's our walkthrough of uh, Night of Terror. Awesome gift shop. Of course, we had to leave there after buying a bunch of shit. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Can't bring a fat kid around farm stuff. I mean, you got the pickles, the garlic. Come on. All right, so let's get into what really matters, the attractions. First up, we did. <laughs> We're being joined by uh, our pain in the ass, Opie. All right, so right of terror, let's get into the scoring and then we'll talk about it. There we go. All right, that was the Ride of Terror scoring. Let's get into it. Actors of Five. I love the interaction, the way they jump on the cart. Um, had a group screaming. Oh, my gosh. Like, they were hilarious. Duration, I think this is the longest hayride of the season. I would agree. Um, Fear Factor of Five. They have some intense scenes in this shit. They do. It was really good. It was. Lighting a five. Makeup and costumes, they look great. Especially the chicken man. <laughs> that was hysterical. I did not expect a chicken man to be coming on the cart. Originally a five. The, I haven't seen that electric room in any other haunts. Props a five. Scenes a five. The only, only hint I have here is I'd like some music for the scenes. Like, set up the scenes with music? Yes. Okay, now you're back. Yeah, sorry, I had to let Opie down. <laughs> Alright, so that's my only only dig, is I'd like some background music. Some scenes had it, but it was kind of a quiet ride, other than the booms and the bangs and the fire and all that. And this has a lot of fire. So our overall score for the Hayride is a 4.8. Very close to that 5. Alright, so... My our favorite three scenes is the electric room, the entrance room, the pumpkin room, mm -hmm. and then the reverse swamp. I haven't seen a reverse swamp yet. No. You'll have to go to see what we're talking about. Yes. All right. So next up, we went into harvest. I think that says harvest right there. Here's the scoring video. <laughs> All right, so Harvest. Actors I went a four. Some missed the mark and a little bit of lost energy, I guess. But a lot were good. So I'm not going to go down to like a two or a one or anything. Just one would just welcome a good. 
Like, or boo. Yeah, or boo. That's uh, <laughs> it's not the not the way. A little missed time, but it's still early in the season. Uh, fear f- uh, duration of five. It's a pretty long trail. It's a trail that runs inside and out, which is really cool. Uh, fear factor of four. She jumped. I jumped. Right in the beginning, just like <laughs> she always has for the last ten mean. years. Ever since, well, not ten, ever since this change to a trail from the crazy fucking corn maze that it used to be and was i liked it but it was annoying as shit guys i was just gonna <laughs> say it was so fucking annoying trying to get out of there i love this better so uh yep right in front of the boot got him at the corn stalk boom right in her face that was shit was so funny uh f- lighting a five a lot of good lighting in here makeup and costume the guy that scared the shit out of you looked amazing yes he blended in so well. Yep. Originality of five. Props of five. Scenes of five. There's some cool shit in here. It's pretty funny when you've been going as long as I have that you notice that they use certain scenes from different past attractions. Like Arctic Ice, I think, or Arctic Cool or whatever yeah, that one was. The, the Whiteout ice. Maze. Mm-hmm. Use the... Um, they use the facade of that yes and then the grates you could tell were still from slaughterhouse yes so it was, it's just cool seeing the little details left um props of five scenes of five sound effects and music of five and special effects we went a four it could have been a little bit more maybe some more shocks and stuff but uh i went 4.7 awesome attraction had a blast <laughs> really loved it she jumped out of her fucking shoes i did all right, so the favorite three scenes. Um, I like the scene right after the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, dude. He's sitting there with the chainsaw, uh-huh. and then you turn that corner. I couldn't figure out how it was. Maybe it was a scarecrow room. It was really well done. Uh, the spider room is badass. That was so creepy. It's one of the best spider rooms I've seen, and we've seen plenty. Uh, and the entrance. I really like the entrance because got her right off the bat. All right, so we're going to move on to next we did the playground. You ready for the playground? The playground, yes. Okay. All right, so the playground, I don't know what I'm releasing first, this or the Halloween Nights at Eastern State, but this is the correct way to do the Clown 3D Maze. The difference is, in here you can see the 3D effect. At Halloween Nights, it was just painted in vibrant colors. Mm -hmm. There was no difference. 3D glasses or not 3D glasses. In the playground... And the real delirium at Reapers, you could totally see the effect of the 3D glasses. So, actors on one of four, some are just out in the open. Like, they had cubbies to hide in, but they mm. still did fun. They were fine. Duration of five. This is a long walkthrough. It really is. It's very long. Uh, fear factor of four. Not a clown scary guy, but... Hey, if you're afraid of clowns, this is fucking 5, 6, 12, 15, 30, because this will freak you out. Lighting a 5. Beautifully lit. The lighting works with the 3D effect. Great job. Makeup and costumes, the clowns look great. 5. Originality, a 5. This is the proper way to do a clown 3D room. Props, a 5. I think they bought like four playgrounds. There's slides. There's trick with slides. There's tubes. There's tunnels. Everything. Scenes of five. Sound effects and music of five. Special effects of five. This got a 4.8 from us. Yeah. Um, favorite three scenes. It's hard in these to pick out a scene. But um, A, this is the second best clown attraction we've been to this year. The endless hallway is a cool effect. With the 3D glasses with the clown at the end. Mm-hmm. And then the guy coming down the slide. Because he did kind of look fake. 
So that was a good job from that actor. I was waiting for you to jump, but you didn't jump. I was surprised. (laughs) All right, so we're going to move on to my favorite attraction of the night. Holy shit. It was really good. Dark Dreams. What was your favorite attraction? Um, I would say Dark Dreams. Okay. It was a lot of fun and cool, different. All right, let's get into Dark Dreams. As you saw it there, here's a perfect 5.0 from us for Dark Dreams. It's rare we give out 5.0s. Well, we have maybe seven walkthroughs with 5.0s out of 12 attractions and multiple walkthroughs. Yes. All right. So, Dark Dreams actors, yes, five. Awesome dentist, grandma at the Santa room. We got to talk about the Santa room. <laughs> that was a cool room. Well, no, it wasn't. We'll get into that. <laughs> Because you don't like Christmas. Oh, Christmas. But it was all, all scary. No, there's no scary Christmas. No. Okay, moving on. I have better d- nightmares than that. All right, so duration of five. Very long walkthrough. Fear factor of five. There is intense fucking rooms in there that play with everything in your head. It could possibly be the most intense scene I've seen yet. Yes. Kim's were up there, too. And, uh, of course, Reaper Sector 13 is uh, pitch black. So it's up there with that in the intensity. Lighting? Oh, five. Makeup costumes? Five. Everyone looked great. Everyone was well hidden. Everyone was timed well. Originality? A five. The claustrophobia bags being brought this close to the artwork of the dead bodies? Brilliant idea. So smart. I love that. Yes. I loved it. Um, you saw some boobies. <laughs> you were up and close. Yeah, yeah. Uh, originality of five. There's a lot of scenes in here, not in other haunts. Props of five. The the the. It, we'll get into that with the favorite scenes. <laughs> scenes of five. Other than the Christmas, but I let it go because it was still well done. It was really. Well Next year, done. I'm digging for Christmas attractions. Okay. <laughs> Keep that shit in December. Or I'll just come over here, leave, and let her do the Christmas attractions. Mm. All right. Uh, Sound effects music of five. Special effects of five. Overall, 5.0. This was a great, intense, with the right slow times, perfect attraction. I had a blast in here. If all the others Mm -hmm. sucked, I would come just for this one. Yes, but they didn't suck. Hell no, they didn't. It was a good night. It was a fun night. It It was nice to come back into the intensity. Halloween nights had a little bit, and then we had baits before. So we've been kind of lacking that in-your-face intensity. Yeah. We had it at Brighton, but this brought it back. Uh, favorite three scenes, the electric room. With the electric chair, surrounded by the panels, the fog, the str- Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Doll room. Mm. There was other ones in there, too. Doll room was creepy as fuck, though. And the claustrophobic bags against the bodies. Oh, it's such it's such a cool idea because you can't half. turn. Yeah, it's half, so you could see, like your face is out, and you're kind of like brought into like the dead bodies as you're walking by. Pretty cool idea. Um, five point Without a doubt, my favorite attraction, and it's definitely up for. It's in the list for attraction of the year. It will be. Yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse it was me. It's really good. These back to back recordings are killing me. Mm-hmm. But we got to get it done. Mm-hmm. Oh, how about some mugs in the um, gift shop? We'll get into that gift shop too. 
You know, you can talk while I'm drinking coffee, so <laughs> no. it's not just dead space. I'm sorry, I, I guess I zoomed out. Oh, my God. All right, so, you know, the people in the car can't see me taking a sip. I know. <laughs> we'll work on that. It's only been two years. <laughs> all right, so let's do this final scoring of all the shit we really don't care about. Uh, Field of Terror. Uh, Night of Terror. My bad. We're doing too many. Night of Terror is better. Night of Terror. All right, so let's dig into the Night of Terror as a complete night out. Activities, I have it a four. A lot of photo ops, great gift shop. Huge gift shop. If you like farm goods, this is a gift shop for you. Missing mugs, but that's okay. I did get a uh, magnet that's back there mm -hmm. under the Reapers. There's a, that's our little tchotchke collection that we've been uh, working on throughout the season. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Some are missing, but... Not everyone has stuff. Um, atmosphere, I'm I'm at a three. I, I'd like I like a little music. It doesn't even have to be like a DJ or a stage. Just put up some speakers, play something. Mm -hmm. Even the radio. Um, maybe a couple of screens with projectors. Throw in like trailers and stuff, or even you know like the Field of Terror movies. That um, would be cool. Yeah, just little things, little things. Uh, entertainment, again, maybe some music, maybe some games. Make some more money with some games, some carnival games. Seeing that around. I mean, I don't know if you really need to go to axe throwing because that's different insurances and shit. But little little carnival games. Make that money. Keep them people in there. Get their pockets going. I'm all about people mm -hmm. getting their pockets going. Who to five? Oh, the selections. Now, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to haunt food. I need different ideas at haunts. Because, A, sometimes we've already eaten. And I just want a little hot dog to get us through the rest. Or we're coming in there right off the plane. I'm fucking starving. <laughs> this had it all. And the apple cider in that fridge, in that gift shop. Oh, my god! I cracked that open. Oh, boy, that was good. That was good. And also, the pickles are good. We can attest by this. We did a little yes, taste test. So, did. here we go. Quick little food review. Pickles, five blood splats. The garlic, five blood splats. And she could tell you about the olives with garlic because I don't eat that crap. That was five. Okay. The food oh, there. And I also got uh, candy, apple, corn. Yeah, they're minus five <laughs> blood splats because they were horrible. She loves that stuff. I can't do candy corn. Candy corn was good. Instant headache. I love candy corn. Instant headache. But, like I said, I'm here for the haunters. I'm here for the haunted attractions. That's for the families. I don't give a shit. Do what you want to do. These were great attractions. We had a blast. We had a great time. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Brian, for having us out. The yes. whole team there really fought. Um, and, like I said, we give honest reviews. And this is being honest. Dark Dreams, there's really nothing I could tag on. No. The intensity levels shifting, oh, it was it was great. It was a really good time. All right, so this is Saturday, so this might come out tomorrow, Sunday. Um, where are we going? I, we changed our schedule a little bit. Yeah, we're going to keep it local, make it easier on us for this week. Yes. Because then we could do traveling next week, and the following week we're on vacation, so it's not so bad. Yeah, we're, I, we changed it up to Freight Factory. Yep, we're going to head to Freight Philly. Factory tonight. Um, I know it's only one attraction, so it's only a 20-minute drive for us. So it'll be a short night. Maybe even record tonight, so we don't have to do shit tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds good. Where are we going Sunday? Penhurst. Penhurst Asylum. The return. It's been a while. I've had my tickets for four months. <laughs> hey, you got to take advantage. Listen, the one thing I would tell you, any haunts that you want to check out this year, next year, Sign up for their emails, sign up for their social media. Sure, you get a lot of useless stuff like, hey, we're open. We know you're open. Um, it also helps with rain, but it also, I found a ton of deals this year. Yes. Night of Terror had a great deal that Glenn the Fall Ritual found. 
So, like I said, if, if you want to get to these haunts, it's imperative that you follow their social media. Plus, a lot of them post a lot of cool videos. Yeah. I'm constantly sharing it on our uh, Facebook page. Me too. Yep. But you're doing it through Terry Haggerty. I'm the... Right. I know. <laughs> But All I'm right. still sharing it. I know. You're getting it. You're getting it. All right. But again, thank you to the team. I'm, it was a lot of fun. It was awesome. Night of Terror did not disappoint. Night of Terror is a stop. Hard work does pay off. Hard work does pay off. Cool thing about Night of Terror is it's close to Philadelphia. If you want to hit one of the three over there, you can do that. I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. All right. A lot of people there too. There was a good group out there. I was a little surprised for the second weekend. But uh hey. Great job, guys. That's all we have for you right now. We're at about close to a half hour, so we'll wrap this up. I'll yeah. start editing and we'll get ready for Fright Factory tonight. It's been six years since I've been in the Fright Factory. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. So thank you guys so much. This has been Halloween Haunts 365, where every day is haunt season. Goodbye. Bye. Halloween Haunts 365 Productions.